You know, one technique that I've been pushing in the workshops a lot lately, and especially on the Wrap Institute, is only squeegeeing when you have glass. So get full glass, take the whole backing paper off, whether you're wrapping a hood or a fender or a roof, or in this case, the door. So once you get full glass, then it's you basically have made whatever you're wrapping, even if it has really compound curves, into a flat surface. So in a workshop recently, I said, you know, basically if you get it super flat you can wrap with your eyes closed and someone said you know what i dare you to wrap a door with your eyes closed so while i was in dallas recently i said you know what i got an eye mask i'm gonna put it on and i didn't even know the cameraman was doing this brian so i took a panel took the door handle off set up the knifeless tape around that tricky area around the chrome molding at the top and i'm gonna wrap this door see if i can wrap this door with my eyes closed literally can't see so what I want to show in this, or at least, you know, what I really think I can do in this is just, again, with the right material, good technique, right tools, I think you can wrap this car with your eyes closed, at least this door. So just trying it out, you know, what I'm doing now is I've set my magnets on and I'm really just making sure I have enough bleed on all sides. So really taking my time, making sure the magnets are in the right place right here. I, you know, obviously can't see, I put it right in the door handle. So take it out, put it on the flat surface, and again, double checking, really going around. Once I feel like I have enough bleed left to right, top to bottom, about two or three inches, remove the backing paper, and again, what I'm doing, just to show the system, the universal graphic installation system, pull the backing paper, and I've set up a temporary hinge, and I wanna pull the material away to the temporary hinge and cut it away with my snitty. So I got my tool bag, and again, just know where all the tools are, and again, I wanna make a good cut, so again, just really, I'm feeling this out, never done this before, and start to cut weird around the door. But again, using my snitty instead of using a knife. I use a knife right there, I cut the car. Once I kind of get past that point, luckily the little speck fell on the ground. Pull away, again, is it a straight line? No, but it's pretty good. And then what I want to do is set a permanent hinge. So I pull up with glass, nice and even. Once I get set up there, I want to lock it in place with one squeegee stroke, so I'm feeling where the backing paper is. Squeeze you towards the right, feel through, make sure I have glass, almost. I felt it kind of bunch up right there. Reason why is because of the magnet and the little uh, raised object in the door handle. So I pick it up, create glass, feel it, run it down with my finger and then lock it in place with my squeegee. I felt the bubble come up, but because I have air egress film, it went away. Once I get that, I kind of squeegee cross and just kind of overlap my squeegee strokes. Again, my back hand is feeling for quality. So a little bubble right there, press it away with my finger. Squeegee across, nice and even. So again, I'm using a soft squeegee with a brand new felt buffer on it. Nice and straightforward, round the corner at the top. Again, I don't want to use too much of my squeegee there. Got that raised object with the chrome. So I pull it and I want to do the tuck and cut there. So I'm going to tuck it all the way into the top, nice and easy. Again, long horizontal squeegee strokes, 45 degrees with my squeegee. Really just feeling it out. And again, once you kind of squeegee and I mean wrap enough, you kind of really get a good sense. So it's more about feel. My free hand now are my eyes. It really kind of gets a feel for the film. Plus I feel if there's any kind of tension on my squeegee, it sends a signal out and then I just kind of tuck the material away. So now I'm tucking into the base of that molding there at the top with no tension. So again, my free hand just kind of pulls it away, tuck it in nice and clean right there and bam, run it across the knifeless tape. So again, knifeless tape is really key for that area right there, especially if you're a beginner, intermediate. I felt some wrinkles right there at the edge. So I pick it up and I really want to get it nice and smooth on the knifeless tape. Doesn't feel quite smooth yet. So again, just taking my time. Once I get it set up, nice, almost there. Get it set up, pull it nice and even and done. So again, this is just solid fundamentals, not moving on until it's 100% good. Now that the top section's done, I feel through, everything feels good, that section's done, then you want to work down. And this is, for me is all about the triangles and creating glass. So instead of keeping the backing paper on, the whole time I'm just going to round that top corner there, because I read it beforehand, so again this is just kind of, I see it in my head because I looked at it before, again this is really good game planning. And then once I get it there, take the whole backing paper off and create glass. So again, the reason why I'm taking the back, backing paper off these days is A, because I think it takes advantage of the air egress and repositional, repositionable technology of the adhesive, but it also avoids adhesive lines, which a lot of people are getting. So instead of bridging around this door handle as it is, I want to make a relief cut there. So again, I kind of feel through there and I see a giant wrinkle there, and that's because of that raised object. So I kind of work it around there a little bit. Once I work it around, then I can create glass. So nice and even. 
squeegee across, catch up, and I want to make sure I, I'm overlapping my strokes. Once that top section is done, I pull with a triangle towards the right, nice and firm. Pull it nice and taut. And again, you, after a while, you just kind of know how hard and wh what angle to pull at. And then, bam, I got glass. So super easy. So again, I just knew that if I grabbed the corner and pulled towards that corner, it would create glass. Now look how easy it is to squeegee. So again, my free hand is just always double checking for quality where I last squeegeed. Squeegeeing at 45 degree stroke, just side to side, just trying to keep it even. Sometimes I probably squeegee back over where I last did, but again, I'd rather go back over where I last did than go too far. So what I got is I got a recessed area coming up, minor one. And again, this is very flexible film, so I kind of just keep on going. Glide it right into that section. I felt the air pull up, so I stopped immediately, picked it up, released it, and now I got this angle at the bottom. And now that I have the angle at the bottom, I'm just going to use that triangle technique, 45 degrees, just kind of squeegee it down, pick it up, tuck it into the base. So again, my free hand is always, always running ahead of my squeegee. And it is extremely weird not to be able to see. I can't even tell you how weird this is. I mean, I even closed my eyes underneath the eye mask just to kind of make sure that it just was, I actually found it much easier with my eyes fully closed underneath the eye mask. So now that I got everything done, what am I doing is I'm double checking the edges to make sure that they're all 100% set up. So for me, this is all about quality. I went did a complete 360 degree turn around all edges to make sure they're completely uniform set up because now I want to get to cutting. So I pull out my safety box, click my blade, which was again weird, and I want to make a relief cut around this raised object. And it's funny, I didn't know before going live on this that there was two. So I cut the smallest one first when I kind of wanted to cut that biggest one. But again, that's what happens when you can't see. So I cut off that away and what I'm doing that is I'm just trying to eliminate any kind of little tension there at the base of the handle there, that little recessed area. So again, because it's matte film, I'm putting on my application glove right now, which again, I've never put it on with my eyes closed, very strange. So again, I'm just gonna kind of form the material in and this is all about feel right now. So I just kind of form it in and then I just, with from practice over time, I just know that I want to start at one side and work towards the other. But again, I'm finding that little raised object right there. So what I do is I pick it up high and seal it on the back side, nice and even. So I stretched it a little bit, not crazy about stretching it as much as I did. So see if I come back and fix that because I relaxed it into the base right there. But if I picked it up and relaxed it in nice and clean, I picked it up and fed it into that base. Now I feel like there's no tension there. Then I start to work it towards the other side. So working in overlapping strokes, pushing it towards the hole on the right. Right there, kind of sealed up. So I feel a bubble there and I see if I can work the, use the air egress to get the air out, but it's not quite coming out. So instead of panicking or instead of popping a hole there, which I think always you kind of lower quality if you pop a hole, even if you use a air release tool, it's safest. But what I did is I took advantage of the fact that there's a hole on the right where the door handle is going to go made a relief cut in there, and so now I can pick up the film safely and then work the air out. So I stretched it, and you can see how I stretched it right there. But I did get that air bubble out, so now it's almost 100% done right in that re deep recessed area, super clean. And again, I didn't use soap and water because I'm working with matte. But now I kind of feel for my heat gun, turn it on, make sure it gets the right temperature. Now I just want to trigger the memory so it goes back flat, so that area is nice and relaxed, and then I just form it into the recessed area so there's no tension there i didn't bridge and push in i kind of picked it up and relaxed it in double check for bubbles any kind of tension in that area there it looks good so far or doesn't look good it feels good take that back and now i double check for bubbles on the main surface area with the application glove really nice again double check the edges why not especially when you're cutting with your eyes closed you want to make sure it's 100 percent uniform to the edge remove the application glove and now this is the trickiest part, is actually coming in and cutting. So I click my blade again, just for double safety, make sure it's extra sharp. And then this is why I use a plastic knife. Again, for me, what I've been showing in the workshops a lot lately is this knife, this is an NT Cutter A551P knife. It's plastic and it's wide. And what I love about it is I can, I'm pushing to the side with my blade and I'm pushing against the car with the knife. And for this, it's just such an easy cut. So again, I have no clue, I can't see what I'm doing but I can feel it and it's all about just getting the right feel with the knife on the car. And again, having a plastic knife here, I'm literally pushing against the car. So the chance of it jumping out is zero. So look how safe and easy that cut is. And you know, at the end, you'll see really clean, nice straight cut, nice and easy. So again, I angled my blade on the side, 
got it kind of cold at the bottom, pull the excess film away, and I know that I didn't quite cut at the top, so I kind of slow down there, get fighting the magnet a little bit. Luckily, it slid out from behind the magnet, and I tack it there for later. So again, I know I knew that it was attached and always seal the deal. So I knew just to kind of run my finger or squeegee in this case, just to make sure that edge is nice and sealed. Then I want to do the side. So again, for the side here, and again, this is just, I'm doing like a basic color change here, kind of fleet style. So here I kind of, again, really taking my time. I don't want to cut the car, just have my finger feeling where the blade's going to insert. So again, really just avoiding any kind of cutting on the car. And just once I get in, I'm going to keep my blade parallel. And again, just using the knife. Look how easy that is. So again, my body's moving a little bit, but my I'm not pushing or cutting at a weird angle, just letting the knife just do its thing. I knew there's an angle there, so I slow down. Once I get to the corner, I feel it with my thumb so I don't go too far. I don't want to cut the board at the bottom. Then I release the film to the edge. And again, I knew I didn't cut all the way. So I stop there and I seal the deal, run my finger down there to seal the edge. And then I have this excess film where I know I had the knifeless tape beforehand. So I'm going to kind of feel it up there. And then once I get it nice and good, I'm going to make a relief cut and pull it away. So I can kind of come in with the knifeless tape. And look how I'm going to cut away from the car because I can't see exactly. So again, so I don't cut against the car. Never want to cut the car. Put the excess film on the car, not on the floor. Then I take the knifeless tape. This, this is design line, nice and clean, stretches really good. Fold, hold, pull at the same time. Pull the entire string. And again, this is the beauty of knifeless tape is once you get it set up, it cuts nice and clean, super stress-free, especially when you can't see. Pull it aside there, got some excess there. Again, I don't want to throw that on the floor, especially, you know, don't want, you know, just want to keep a clean workspace, tack it on the side of the car, kind of feel it through. Did I quite get it? And no. So now it goes next to me, then I put it back. So now once I get it there, I want to tuck it into the base and I'll come back later. There's a technique on the rapid suit where I show how to tuck cleanly under there with a the tucking cool. I think that'll be a little difficult and you can't see at all. So again, so far so good. Then there's this little section I want to cut at the top. So again, being super careful with my fingers, then kind of letting the blade go along the, my fingernails and then sliding into the edge so I don't cut the car. Nice and clean right there. Take my time because the corners are always a little tricky. Let the blade do the cutting, kind of set it up there. Again, double check with my fingers. I'm really being careful here. But man, if you have the really good technique here, look how smooth it went down. So again, having the right tools, the right material, magnets, having a plastic knife, starting with a temporary hinge, creating glass, look how easy it is. Thanks for watching, Justin Payne.